What are the 5 best ways to prepare for Halo 5? And in this video, I'll be able to answer those questions for you. But how's it going everyone? It is Kevin here once again giving you a gameplay commentary. And in this video, we're trying to tackle what is the best way to prepare for Halo 5? We have a lot of great things coming for this game. Some new abilities, new gameplay, new game modes, and so much more. So in this video, I want to help tackle what is the best way to get ready for this game. So you jump in and you start kicking a lot of ass. For Halo 5, a big aspect of the game that 343 is advertising is the campaign. This campaign is going to be the first time we've had a squad-based gameplay for Halo. You'll be jumping between the perspectives of Jameson Locke and the Master Chief and they each one of them have their own crew which each crew member has their own separate abilities but to better understand w exactly what the story is in Halo 5 I absolutely highly suggest playing the Halo 4 campaign since Halo 5's campaign is going to be a continuation of that story I know Halo 4 has not been one of the most favorited Halos in the Halo community but majority of people can agree that the Halo 4 campaign is fantastic. It's even been said that people have cried at the end of this campaign. So if you're a Halo fan, if you're going to jump in and play the campaign, I highly suggest you jump in and play the single player of Halo 4. So you have more context to the events in Halo 5. Number 4 here, again, I'll have you jumping back into Halo 4 because... This also plays a big part in the context of Halo 5, and that is to play Halo 4's Spartan Ops. Now many people, me included, just viewed Spartan Ops as just kind of like a co-op, kill em all replacement for firefight thing, but there's actually a very well done, written out story with Spartan Ops. It will let you know why in Halo 5, Catherine Halsey is missing an arm even. Number 3, I highly suggest either jumping on to a classic Halo on the Xbox 360 or on the Master Chief Collection and playing some big team battle because a big part of Halo 5 is going to be the new game mode Warzone. This is a 12 versus 12 versus AI multiplayer game mode that's going to be pushed very hard onto Halo 5. Warzone is essentially going to be a MOBA within Halo 5. So if you're a big fan of those kind of games with MOBAs, like League of Legends, Smite, Dota, things like that. You might even want to try those out as well to get the better understanding of how this game mode works. The next thing you should do to get ready for Halo 5 is to jump into some classic 4 vs 4 Team Slayer in any Halo. Because this is another aspect of Halo that 343 is really advertising that they got down for Halo 5. It is the competitive side of Halo. The classic 4 vs 4, Slayer, Capture the Flag, King of the Hill, Oddball, game modes like this. So what you want to do is, you know, understand different maps, understand how to time power weapons, how certain competitive game modes work. Once Halo 5 rolls out, you'll know exactly you know, how to time power weapons, exactly how to play certain game modes, and you won't be that little scrubby nub just running around going, I don't know how to shoot things, ugh. And lastly, to, to prepare for Halo 5, this might sound very controversial, but for me personally, I can totally understand the movements better in this game because with the addition of thruster packs into Halo 5, the only game I could really suggest that's also on consoles to understand how to play Halo better is to play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I know, to play Call of Duty. It's painful to me too. But trust me, from my experience of playing the Halo 5 beta, I can tell you that the thruster packs in Halo 5 work very similar to the thruster packs in Advanced Warfare. Now you don't have to jump into the multiplayer because trust me, you do not want to do that for Call of Duty. Just go into local play, turn on the bots, on to recruit and just get used to the different kind of movements that are in the game and choose a level with a lot of elevation as well. You can climb on top of things, you can even ground pound on people just like in Halo 5 as well, so I highly suggest doing that. So even though I know that Call of Duty and Halo mix like oil and water, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare will help you get into the mental space of using a thruster pack in this game. Because the thruster pack in Halo 5 is, is going to completely change the gameplay. But anyways guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the uh, tips I had to give for you guys. I know some of them might not be the uh, ones you were expecting to hear, but trust me when I say that you really gotta play the campaign to Halo 4, Halo 4 Spartan Ops, jump into some 4 vs 4 Team Slayer, jump into some big team battle, 
and actually play the campaign of Advanced Warfare to understand the thruster packs better. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment what you thought about the, these tips to prepare for Halo 5, and if you have your own tips, please leave them down in the comment section down below, help out the community so we can all jump in and just ha start having fun with Halo 5. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video guys. Peace out.